Hi everyone, this is part two of our breakdown over here of where this crop circle was. And we're going to show more about this glyph. I broke this glyph down nearly three years ago, but a lot of people have not seen it and have not seen a lot of the evidence that's on here. I've broken down many different hieroglyphs from all around the world and they all seem to show, not every single one, but many of the different hieroglyphs from all around the world show the end of the age and the event that begins all of it. The grievous head wound that's coming. Even this Egyptian glyph of Akhenaten. It shows this individual coming down with the key to open the abyss. And then this red bull running like the red horse of the apocalypse, which means war. And Russia even rising up. And you can see this rapture event right here as this phoenix. This is the dog star Sirius part of God's throne and the star of Bethlehem. In the left hand is the accuser that stands before God and accuses us day and night. He's coming down here with this key to open the abyss for the fifth age, like this V, and he brings this new type of Eucharist. On the right side is where Jesus Christ sits until he goes to the throne. And when he goes, he, this phoenix rises. It's the end of grace and mercy. And then down here you can see what is known as the false prophet. See how he has a frog coming out of his mouth? And then they are made to worship this image of the beast, like this crystal skull. All the way down here to where you can see they're getting a little check mark on their head, like the mark of the beast, all right here in front of us. Well, this matches this glyph also. And right here we've shown as the dragon looks like this alien figure. Let's show him right here. See how this is? Just like this individual here. See how he's blended in with this one Akhenaten? Now back here, you see how they have the hat here. When the hat is like this, like rabbit ears, it means people or entities can come down and go through the disc and go through the host. Spiritual things can come down into the, the human body with this here. On this side of the woman, you can see this jester-looking fellow, which looks like death. We've seen him a few times before. This is very intricate, all of this stuff. But let's do this. See how he's blended right in with the woman right here? Now below here, you can see these two daughters, just like the two daughters of Obama and Michelle right here. She is doing something with a mask. This mask is actually this entity, this spiritual entity's right hand. We're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go deep and look at all this. This will even show the rapture on here. You can see the ghost there. Now you can see the girl. Right here. See the girl? See how this spiritual head is coming through this woman? See this? This is how they get around and go up and down through the different spiritual realms. Now down here is what's considered to be the dog star. Everything can use it until Jesus goes to the throne. When Jesus sits on top, he's going to close everything off. See this V for the fifth age coming even? Now you can see right here, let's take the girl off. Right here you can see the dog. And do you see this man? He's going down through this V and he goes right in through the dog. This is very intricate, all of this stuff. This is how they jump around. So you have that right there. Look at all that crazy stuff that's right in front of us. As the spiritual realms are seen like these little heads, floating heads as they call them. And they go right through the dog, and this V means it's going right down into the person. This is why I keep showing that we have to get above this. See, we are below this burden of Egypt right now. These spiritual things can go into different people. You either have the Holy Ghost with you or something else can be in you. We have to get above this V. And then when we're above it, it's not coming down into us anymore. We will receive a new host from Jesus Christ. But they hide a lot of things also in these upside down. So let's take a look at it. And we're going to actually show the rapture. It's considered to be a balance. In other words, the two different realms showing each other. It's 
let's turn this over and we're going to actually show everything I've been showing on my channel that, that this even starts down near San Diego near these two domes this is right by Camp Pendleton in the San Onofre power plant area right here and this is where the woman is granted the wings of the eagle to fly away also all right here perfect this is a Mayan glyph and it shows the little horn of the Bible rising exactly as the Egyptian glyphs exactly as going by the Bible up here you can see the Phoenix rising right here see that Phoenix and then the wheel of the Great Tribulation all coming just to show that it's all there now let's show the rapture let's show Jesus Christ up here in the temple of God Jesus Christ is right here and this is the temple of God right in front of us right here right here is Jesus see him right here and this is his arm and this is the door for the temple see how this is a V we have to get above this so there he is right there and this is the two pillars of Joachim and Boaz this is our temple that's been built in heaven for us so there's Jesus right there that's him there's the balance as I keep showing it's him that opens up all the seals to begin all of this right here is a lot of angels rapturing everybody up right here is the rapture this is the dog star Sirius right here in the middle these are all the people coming up see how they're all coming up on these lines see how this angel is coming up and at this time I keep showing they get this great sword you see this sword that's the trade this sword means war this event starts the war all right here and see everybody being raptured up the wise virgins perfect just as I keep showing see by the hand of God he will call us to him he will open the door and just call us to him and we will ascend down here see as the sword is coming down down here is this whale which represents as I've shown before this one pirate individual that's coming from the abyss let's show up over here as the accuser first the accuser is right here coming down he's right there that's him coming down with this sword down here you can see that he's waking up from this whale see this whale right here and this whale represents all the souls being set free as this sword comes down see how he has the V on his head for the fifth age coming like that Indian that we've shown waking up in the Denver Airport murals over here is the woman ready to go right here this represents the woman see how she's sitting on the domes this represents the birth see how she has the key for all of us to leave and to open the abyss probably when the angel comes down with the key to open the abyss and you can see how we're all ready to leave right here see the two domes San Diego San Onofre power plant the whale this is probably down near the harbor area which is all meant to get hit like crazy it's going to move the earth this will cause tidal waves on the east coast the New Madrid fault line will be blown at the same time. The methane gas down in the Gulf will go down in Louisiana. And the harp machine will take out the rest of the USA. It's all one big event. And then they will all rise back up. Here's the woman sitting on the domes with the key. See how she's ready to go up with the line? Because she has to go to the place prepared for her. And she gets to have this eagle see how right here now she's a spirit and she's being caught up by this guy right here see how he has like a those the disc which means he can go through the realms he represents the eagle there's a 28 on here but we've been showing that for years we don't know what that quite means numbers can drive you crazy 
And we have to have patience. We have to all live our lives and let, let everything get going. See how she's caught away? She actually goes into a spot right here. I haven't completely finished all of this. Over here it shows everybody rising back up, the little horn, as I've shown before about this rabbit. Right here. See this rabbit? And with this USA sign now rising back up like the little horn? And then they have this new pill. See this pill? You have to go get your head cut off or he gives you the mark of the beast. And you have to take that new Eucharist. It's all right there, right in front of us. The same thing we show on my channel over and over and over again, but with more evidence. See, there's that new pill where they're blending the DNA. So there's the rapture. There's Jesus Christ. There's everything as we've been showing on our channel over and over again. This type of pirate guy, let's show him quickly in this other area. This is another glyph called the Dendera chart. If you look right about right here, you will begin to see Obama's face. This is his eye, and this is his mouth. But there's Obama being revealed. See the mask coming off of him? Over here is Jesus Christ. He will call us to him. There goes the accuser again. He's casting him down. This is the woman standing right by the domes, ready to fire the arrow. We're lined up with the dog star Sirius. When that arrow goes, she's granted the wings of the eagle. The mask comes off Obama. We go through the dog star. And then this pirate up here, see him with this horn? He's doing this guillotine. He's right there waking up. The beast from the bottomless pit. Over here you can see the eagle ready to rise with the trumpet all right in front of us, perfect as we've been showing. Jesus and the woman, the phoenix, all those things going on right here. Jesus, the woman, the eagle, she is granted the wings of an eagle, see she's being caught up and away. That pirate waking up from this whale, which also frees all of the other souls, as we've shown this thing coming, this like a ghost ship practically. The dog star Sirius. And right there, Jesus Christ. If you take your time and don't bounce around, you'll be able to see him in there. There's Jesus. There's the rapture. See everybody going up? Thank you very much, everybody. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. This is real and right in front of us all day long. May God have mercy on us all. As we keep showing, it will start right down here in San Diego, and it will encompass the whole world. This event will be huge. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.